morning and welcome to Gamer Street. Today we're going to learn an adventurous novel based game, Neverland's Legacy. This one to four player game designed by Thomas M. Gofton and published by Jasco Games. This game is obviously a peer pan themed game, obviously, and what's unique about this game is you can join peer pan on adventures to fight against the pirates or you can join. Captain Hook and his pirate crew to go against Peter Pan himself. Will you be in a, a courageous hero or be one of those cruel pirates? But let's go to the table and learn how to play Neverland's Legacy. Choose to play as the Lost Allies or the Pirates. Place four boards in the middle of the table as I arrange right here. If playing as the Lost Allies, the smallest boards use as the Neverland side and the other three boards use the Jolly Roger side. Use the opposite side when playing as the Pirates. As you can see, this is what it looks like when you're playing as a Pirates, but for this game, game we're going to be playing as the Lost Allies. If you're playing as the Pirates, place the rowboat um, beside the Jolly Roger. Place this Stones of chance, wounds, dis despair, coins, search and hostage coins in piles within reach as supply. Separate sets for roots, snipers, and raiders. Pirate enemy coins. Return the other enemy enemies to the box. They are used if you're playing as pirates. And that completes the setup. In this game, we're going to be teaching you how to play as the Lost Allies, which is Peter Pan's crew. But if you want to know about the Captain Hook's crew, for the setup, you do need just to flip the boats and you also need to add the robo to the setup. Beginning with the first player, each character must perform the following steps to their actions. A moral check, which is the dice right here. Perform actions, draw a threat card. Resolve effect, activate enemies, Activate named enemies, discover new enemies. Play continues clockwise with each character taking a turn until both win conditions of any of the lost conditions are met. At the start of your character's turn, you must check your moral. For each despair token you have received, maximum of four, you must roll a stone of chance. For each stone replaces one of your action choices with a monetary action that matches the symbol rolled. Each action that is not set by the result of stone of chance is up to the player and call it a chosen action. For each player, each character takes four action on their turn. Chosen actions on a monetary action can be resolved in any order and each action can be performed in any number of times. For a chosen action, a character must select an action from the list or pass. Monetary actions must be performed if possible. If a monetary action cannot be performed, then that action is simply lost. Note that character choices for lost allies and pirates share the same symbol but have different names and effects. And a character ends their turn with all their actions performed and before drawing a threat card. This is when an effect of many location ability occurs. The following actions are free and cannot consume any of your four actions. Some of them can be performed when it is in your turn. At any point of your turn, this guard very does to choose a hostage in your location and rescue and place the hostage token on Neverland. You must be on top of the Jolly Roger to do so, or to do this. You may freely trade items, item cards, and coins with characters in your location. If playing as pirates, you must also trade hostages you are carrying. Unlike the actions I may mention previously, these actions will cost you one of your four actions. Move to an adjacent location on the same ship deck. Move between two locations on different decks of the Jolly Rogers by using the stairs. For example, I'm going to the captain's cabin and I'm going, I'm going um, in, in, in there. Fly between the, the 
top deck of the John Rogers and Neverland if you move into the location that contains enemies. You cannot com perform any more move actions for the remainder of the turn even if you fight and defeat those enemies. You may escort hostages in your location to move them with you unless you are moving into a, a location that contains enemies. Hostages cannot move to Neverland. They must be rescued by discarding a fairy dust item. Fight an enemy in your location to deal a wound. Raiders and snipers are defeated when dealt with a wound. Brutes are only defeated if they are dealt two wounds in the same turn. One wound has no effect. If any enemy, only enemies in your location are named enemies. Choose one of them and roll the stone of chance. On a fight or result, a deal that named enemy a wound if a named enemy has no empty wound slots on their, their enemy sheets or deal with a wound, they are defeated. If there are no enemies or named enemies in your location, remove the search token in your location to draw from the search deck. Choose an enemy or a named enemy in a adjacent location including those that are connected to the stairs <laughs> and move it to your location. Remove one despair from your character sheets or the character sheet of one, one ally in your location or rescue a fallen ally in your location by removing one, uh, one wound and one despair from their character sheets. One wound from your character sheets then roll during a moral check. This result counts as a chosen action. A character may spend their destiny on their turn to perform a fifth action. Sometimes having one more action makes a huge difference. After a character has performed all their actions, they must draw one threat card. If the threat card deck is empty, first reshuffle and uh, the threat discard to form a new deck. If the named enemy threat was drawn randomly, choose an enemy from an unused enemy sheet excluding Captain Hook or Peter Pan when set aside during setup and placing it standing on the board where it indicated of the enemy sheet. For some named enemies have an ability that applies as soon as they are placed on a board. Resolve these immediately if applicable if any other threat is drawn. <laughs> Perform the following steps in order. When a threat card is drawn and any characters spend a destiny to change an effect of color, including the color of enemies discovered, to use to mitigate terrible situations by changing which enemy act and appear. Some threat cards have an effect text, uh, text at the top. Follow these instructions first. All the enemies in play on all the boards that matches the color threat activate whichever order the character chooses. Or choose. Each enemy performs the first action that matches its priorities and listed in the rule book. Each named enemy, if one section of the enemy sheet matches the effect threat color, follow the instructions listed on the enemy sheet. Most enemy named enemies also discover new enemies in their location but those enemies do not act while resolving the current threat card. Refer the threat card's diagram on the board, adding tokens to the location indicated, like I did right here. Discovered enemies are always the same colors as the cards of effect uh, threat color. If there aren't enough enemies or search tokens to place, place as many as possible in order in the order listed and ignore the rest. After performing these steps, place the threat card in the discard pile beside the threat deck. Some named enemies have an effect that happens after resolving a threat card. Resolve those effects at this point. When each enemy a activates, check its priority list from top to bottom. It performs the first condition that can Fulfill. Some priorities use the term nearest to mean the fewest number of locations away. This can be the location that they already occupy. On the decks of the Jolly Roger, locations with stairs are considered adjacent to each 
each other. On Neverland, enemies consider locations with shores to be adjacent to each other. Enemies ignore falling characters. Enemies often have several options for a given priority, such as having multiple characters in their location to wound or being able to move two equal priorities in other locations. In these cases, the characters choose which equal priority to the enemy follows. The priorities for the lost allies enemies for snipers only on their deck deal one wound to the nearest character, kill a hostage. For raiders and brutes, resolve these priorities. Deal wounds to characters, kill hostage, remove a search token, and draw a card. Most of your enemies can be defeated by dealing one wound. One uh, brute can only be defeated by dealing two damage in one turn. During two player game, Peer Pan can perform four actions and then draw a threat card. This causes all the red enemies to activate and follow their priorities. Other enemies do not activate. After all, red en enemies have activated. Peter resolves the discover portion of the threat card. Most threats have text at the bottom of that describes the diagram. After all, new tokens are placed. Discovery Discover step is a complete, and the character begins their turn. Each time a character suffers a wound, place them on the wound slot. If you have no empty wound slots when you dealt with a wound, lay your standee on its side and your character has fallen. How many named enemies track wounds on their enemy sheets uh, the same way? However, unnamed enemy is defeated instead of falling, if they suffered a wound and have no empty slots. Fallen characters can still take their turn, but they skip the moral check performance uh, uh, check and perform a action steps. The only thing they can do is draw a threat card. Enemies ignore fallen characters. A fallen character can be rescued and return to a fighting state if helped by an ally. The lost allies can be rescued it can rescue a fallen character using a courage token. The pirates can rescue a fallen allied character by using the loot action. If all characters have fallen, there is no one left to rescue them, and the character and the game is lost. You gain one despair token at a time. You take a wound. Enemies are discovered in your location. If in a single effect, place many uh, multiple and enemies in your location, you gain one despair. <laughs> they gain a despair. Another character on your ship or island becomes fallen. If you have a maximum of four despair tokens on your character sheet at a time, if you have already have four despair, ignore the effects that cause you to gain more. Each location on the board has a special ability. During a game at any time when there are more characters than enemies in the location, the characters gain control of that location and it benefits from its special ability. Enemies never control the location or benefit from its ability. They only stop characters from doing so. Hostages do not affect who controls the location. All the search deck fall into five types of cards, six for the pirate as the pi if you're playing as the pirates. Ambush, junk, hostage, item, and treasure. There is no limited number of items, uh, item cards a character may hold. A character in the same location may freely exchange any card, coins, or captured hostages on their turn. The lost allies went immediately when all hostages are rescued and returned to Neverland, as well as Captain Hook has been defeated. The lost ally lose immediately when the fall, any of the following uh, conditions occur. The research deck is empty, a hostage is killed, all the characters have fallen, and the third enemy named enemy has been placed. And that's all you need to know how to play um, Neverland's Legacy. If you really enjoy this how to play video, give us a thumbs up, and also if you want to see um, uh, how a play video on the pirates version of this game. Let us know in the comments down, down below and we'll get to it as soon as possible. And if you really um, enjoy this channel, click that subscribe button and click the notification 
bell so you'll be notified whenever you post new videos. And we want, if you want to really enjoy our channel, join on our, our Patreon page, which we'll leave in the comments down below. And if you um, don't want to, that's okay. Just spread the word about this channel. And we want to thank our current Patreon supporters. Your contribution means a lot to our um, channel. And be on the lookout on a um, gameplay video on Neverland's Legacy. But until then, thanks for the views.